Well, what's up wild people welcome back to my channel if you're new i'm alexandria denise and this is my garden update for the three sisters here i finally made my decision and i think i know how i'm going to do this uh if you watched my other video my three sisters are fighting i did an update on that about a week or two ago and um yeah so actually my zucchini is showing signs of slowing down so i got this one right here it looks like it's produced a good number for the season and that it's ready to go uh, and of course my corn I already described there what happened with the corn and that the corn was not ready uh, it hasn't produced any ears uh, it's now July it's like a day it's pretty much July 3rd this right here came late so um, I first noticed I planted these back in April so these have about 63 days to maturity, uh, probably a little more uh, on top of that. So I planted these back in April and I should have long harvested these, um, but um, they are very late and it has already tasseled. Um, I gotta get that leaf something, I forgot the name of it, but it's here to eat my tomato plants, I gotta kill it. But the tassels have already uh, formed, like opened, for the pollen to fall on the silts. But the silts did not develop in time for, to catch the uh, fallen pollen. So now the ears have developed on some of my plants, but there's no pollen to pollinate the uh, to pollinate the silts here. So therefore, I really won't have a kernel of corn. So my best bet now is just to start over. I've already uh, started my next batch here, which I'm gonna just cut these open and plant them in a mound. I went ahead and did it like this because my zucchini was still um, forming. I still have some of them to get off of there. So I got one producing here. And then I got another one coming up over here. And then one more kind of making its way but I don't think that's going to do anything and the one in the back I just showed you I think that's done for the season I think I got actually my first zucchini off of that back here um yeah it's it's done its job for the season it's probably not going to produce anymore I don't see any other female buds I just see some of the male flowers um I got another batch coming along too just want the corn to go ahead and get established while it's nice and hot uh, they love hot weather and as far as my beans go I'm gonna companion my beans with my cucumbers back there cucumbers are doing pretty well I got one coming up there it's probably a little too zoomed in but yeah you get the picture plan to make some good cucumber pickles or well hey that's what pickles are made of right Here's another plan to do some really good pickles uh, from my other channel, True Nature Kitchen. So if you're not subscribed to that, find it in the link below. But I'm going to end up putting my beans that I planted alongside the corn a little late, actually. I'm going to companion them with the cucumbers. Okay, so I just took out one of the zucchini as well as uh, all of the corn there. And here are some of my beans I had to unravel from the uh, stock there, but I'm gonna have to uproot those and put them over into the cucumber. And yes, this is one of the times where it's uh, towards the evening, but I'm going to have to water the cucumbers a little bit more because I did the um, transplant. But anytime that you finish a transplant with a plant, you wanna water it even if it's just a little bit uh, because of the transplant shock and then I can come back in the morning and water it um, fully on again. If you haven't watched my watering video, I explain more in depth about watering your plants when the best times and techniques and so on. So check that video out there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get to moving the beans now. And the reason why I'm not leaving the beans in here along with the uh, as I plant the new corn is because the beans are already very tall and they'll get to the point where they start choking out the corn. The corn has to establish itself first 
and then uh, the beans maybe you can plant that two weeks later as after the um, corn is at least about yay tall maybe about six um, about six inches or so and then the beans can follow suit that way as the corn has grown the beans they are strong enough to climb up the stalk and then you plant the fast growing squash okay guys this is the end result here I ended up uh, putting my beans with my tomatoes some of my beans with my tomatoes I have um, obviously some of the beans over there in the cucumbers my only uh, concern with the cucumbers is that uh, or the beans being over there it's obviously the same problem as I had with the squash is that the beans probably won't get a whole lot of sunlight because they'll be like you know towering over obviously you can see it's bigger than the beans that are down there but hopefully some sunlight you know bleed through to the bottom to where they'll get bigger but that's yeah, a good little experiment I just didn't want all of my hard work to be in vain but at least i have some over here to help out my tomatoes foliage um, beans fix nitrogen in the soil and nitrogen as we, as we know um, helps with uh, leaf growth so the leaves haven't been looking so big on my tomatoes this year but at least it is producing tomatoes uh, a lot of them but uh hopefully that'll help keep this guy green or these guys green gals green and uh yeah so i put the beans one here one there i also gave some over to my neighbor because i just had too many i couldn't keep them but i also hear that you could put beans with dill and though that's a baby dill i can always bamboo that one off when it's when the uh, beans start growing these this one right here will do just fine because obviously this guy came about technically the last season um, I had this one and I just dug it up and put it in uh, this like container so let's see how the beans do with this dill that's long been planted this one I just bought as a transplant along with these herbs right here because I had no luck in growing them or couldn't find the seeds now I did grow my basil here from seed and I'm so proud. I started those around the same time I started everything else and they bounced back a lot. I put them back over here in the shade. I had them next to my tomato plants to protect them. But um, from now on I just like take off the unwanted leaves from the bottom like whatever's been chewed on or something and just go and toss the leaves in the uh, tomato plant to deter those type of pests that don't like the smell of basil but they love eating tomato leaves. So that's what I did there. Went foraging for some shag bark hickory. I'm gonna do some uh, barbecuing later. But uh, yeah, so just getting this place kind of tidied up, cleaned up, and uh, giving it a second go. I really wanted to uh, produce a successful Three Sisters this year. Uh, now that I know a little more about it, even if I messed up beforehand. Um, but hey, got time for redemption good time to show you guys what's going on but at least I'm proud about my watermelon this is my first year having a successful watermelon patch got my crimson sweet right here nice and big though I planted it in the same pot as the sugar babies and I planted them roughly around the same time but sugar babies are doing well too this one's growing pretty fast it's all cradled up that one in the back got to give it a big, bigger uh, sleeve though bigger hammock it's kind of misshapen but I think that got something to do with water or fertilizer or something other but uh, yeah so definitely tune back in next week and uh, until then you guys stay wild